Femoral acetabular impingement, otherwise known as FAI, is a condition of the hip that causes uh, disabling groin pain. It typically presents in younger patients and uh, the primary problem there is that you have excess bone either on the femur or on the acetabulum such that when the hip gets flexed up it will pinch the labrum of the hip. People are actually born with these lesions or sometimes will develop these lesions in their teen years but um, it usually is not symptomatic for people until around um, age 30 or so and what will happen is they'll notice it when their hips flex up so um, anybody who has to do a lot of squatting or um, bending at the hips um, a, a lot of athletes for example. Hip impingement is easily recognizable because the, the by far and away the dominating presentation is that of groin pain. Um, mostly people will, will have pain um, in the groin that is worst when they uh, flex their hips up. So uh, for example when they're sitting they'll have groin pain or if they're going up and down stairs uh, or if they bend to pick something um, up off the ground. Primarily the diagnosis is um, first by physical exam and history. Um, in, in the in the physical exam, when you flex the hip up and do what's called an impingement test, which when you flex the hip up with the patient lying down in bed and then rotate the, the leg in internal rotation, that will bring those um, bony lesions up against the, the labrum and against the um, articular cartilage of the acetabulum. And that's when people say, that is my pain and that is what's painful to them. The other thing that is helpful is you can get x-rays uh, that will show whether or not you have um, uh, additional rim on the bone of the acetabulum or additional bumps on the uh, front side of the femoral head. It's important to get lateral views of this because a lot of times a normal AP will look normal but then when you rotate the hip it brings that bump into profile and then you can see it then. FAI is treated by removing the pathology. So in most cases there's going to be excess rim of the acetabulum or an excess bump on the femoral head so that the femoral head which normally is a perfectly spherical bone is not perfectly spherical. Uh, so what we like to do is we like to make some small incisions in the hip and use a technique called hip arthroscopy. We can actually contour the femoral head just using these minimally invasive incisions so that that femoral head is a perfect sphere. There are studies that show um, excellent and um, persistent improvements in the Harris hip scores. This is an, an outcome measurement to show um, how healthy someone's hip is and they all improve after the, these hip, sco hip scopes with very low complication rates because if you can catch this before a lot of damage goes on to, in the hip, um, the patient will do better. So I think it's a high reward diagnosis because if, um, if we can catch it early and treat it early, we can help prevent damage that um, um, is very likely to occur untreated.